What's going on, football fans? Welcome back to another annual NFL predictions video with L2 Sports. If you've seen the last videos, it goes the same way as it's going to go here. We just have 30 seconds to explain why we think each team is going to rank where they do. And then when we get to the playoff predictions, we have 30 seconds to explain why we think that game will go the way it will. We get to the Super Bowl prediction and then we compare and uh, laugh at how bad they were or be proud about how good they were. But enough talk, let's get straight into it. At last place, I have yet again the New York Jets. Even though I really want to believe that Zach Wilson and Robert Salah and all the draft picks they made, they're going to show like vast improvement. I gotta be realistic, you have to see it to believe it when it comes to the Jets. Now I like the direction that Mike McDaniel is taking the Dolphins, but at the same time he's still not a proven head coach yet, and he also has to work with an unproven quarterback in Tua, so ultimately I can't really say the Dolphins make playoffs. I do have the Patriots falling short of the playoffs, but do keep an eye on them. They have Bill Belichick, and Mac Jones actually played fine last year, so we'll see, but ultimately I think they'll fall short. Okay, now let's base the Bills off of how they are as a team instead of how they played in just one playoff game versus the Chiefs. They are a Super Bowl caliber team, of course, but I think they're a little overhyped, but they're still good. All right, so coming in last place, yet again, the New York Jets. Um, I have them here at four wins. I actually think they've had a really good offseason, especially in the draft. I think they did the best, but they still got a little bit to prove and a long way to go. All right, coming here in third place, the New England Patriots. They're going to miss the playoffs, even though they made it last year. I think they're a well-coached team, but I just think they had a bit of a slow, kind of quiet offseason, and I think it kind of hurts them in a strong AFC. All right, second place, of course, my Miami Dolphins. I have them here with 10 wins. I think that's probably about where they're going to be. They got a new coach. They got Tyreek Hill. So they got a lot of things to figure out, but they also got a lot of things to be excited about. It'll be a fun season. All right, number one, my most hated team, the Bills. Can't really deny it. They're a Super Bowl caliber team, uh, although they do seem to have a little bit of trouble getting past those Chiefs in the playoffs, so that's kind of what their season's about at this point. Yeah, I know. I honestly do not feel good about saying that the Steelers are not even last place, but they only have seven wins. I like looked back at that. I was like, that just is not right. It's Mike Tomlin, but I guess I just don't like this offensive line and the quarterback play. I think this Browns team is talented enough to have at least like a winning record and whether you like him or not, Deshaun Watson is an upgrade at quarterback, but I think they're going to start off really slow and ultimately miss playoffs. I debated putting this team in at the seventh seed at 10 and 7, but for now, I got the Ravens just falling short of the playoffs, mainly because the AFC teams ahead of them are, I just think they'll beat them out, but don't sleep on the Ravens. Now, I think they're going to decline a little bit, though. I don't think they were actually ready for the Super Bowl, but I just can't really doubt Joe Burrow and his mindset. I don't think this team will miss, but I don't think they'll be as good. All right, following at 6-11, and 11, the Cleveland Browns. I just think there's a lot of things that they just can't really overcome this year. I We don't know what's going to happen with Deshaun Watson at the time of this recording, but either way, there's a lot to overcome. I wish I had more than 15 seconds to explain why I have the Cincinnati Bengals as an 8-9 and nine team. But I'll just put it this way. I think they had a lot of luck go their way last year, and they followed a lot of momentum. I think they're in for a downfall. Here come the Pittsburgh Steelers coming in second place. I think Mike Tomlin is obviously as good as he always was, but at the same time, I don't really believe in this offense just as... You know, they weren't really all that trustworthy last year, but we'll see. All right, this team just seems like an obvious bounce back for me. They had to deal with so many injuries last year. They were actually doing pretty good. It's just that they can't handle the injuries towards the end of the season like any team would. So 
Baltimore Ravens should be a bounce back team. You smell that? That's the armpit of the NFL and the Houston Texans. Ooh, I don't know how it got to me. They're trying really hard, but ultimately, I, I just can't really say this Jags team is going to improve. Doug Peterson, I think, actually has a lot more to prove than you think, and this roster still has a long way to go. So even though they were the first seat last year, I actually got the Tennessee Titans missing the playoffs at 8-9. and nine. And honestly, man, I, I just think that this team is pretty clearly on a decline, and uh, the other AFC teams are just, in my opinion, a little way better than them. This team was actually pretty good last year. It's just, I hate to make fun of one player, but Carson Wentz is kind of the reason they missed. And, well, Matt Ryan, I think, is a much bigger upgrade, so they should make the playoffs. All right, I mean, let's just be real. The Houston Texans are not a very good football team. I don't think I have to explain anything else. They're just not very good. Man, uh, do the Jacksonville Jaguars ever know what they're doing? Like, they at least tried this offseason, but, dude, I don't know. Doug Peterson was pretty bad the last time he coached. So, with only six wins, I have the Tennessee Titans here at second place. That does sound a little bit low, admittedly, but I think that the Colts have definitely improved in the offseason, and again, this AFC is just really tough. Alright, number one, the team that should have made the playoffs last year, the Indianapolis Colts. Now, think about it, they were really freaking good at the end of last year, but Carson Wentz kind of ruined it. I think Matt Ryan's a little more trustworthy, so they should actually be pretty decent. Alright, so if you had the Ravens in at the seventh seed instead of the Raiders, I would not really blame you. I think either way could make sense, but... I do like the Raiders' direction here. Uh, the new coaching staff should be good, and I like Derek Carr and Devontae Adams. Should be an upgrade. I've been high on this team ever since the offseason started, really. The Chargers, I think, are going to be nasty. I love Justin Herber and really the roster as a whole. I'm honestly surprised I don't even have them winning the division, but regardless, they have 12 wins. This Russell Wilson trade to me reminds me of the Matt Stafford trade to the Rams and the Tom Brady to the Bucks. I think this is this big of an improvement and the Broncos should win frickin' 13 games. Holy crap. So, I think losing Tyreek Hill is gonna hurt them a little bit, but I just can't really say that, you know, Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid, if they didn't win the division, I understand it, but if they did, I think it makes sense. Well, as you can see with these predictions so far, I am predicting for the first time in NFL history that an entire division makes the playoffs. In this case, I have the Raiders making 11 wins here. I don't know if they're that good personally, but I think they can do it. Now, the Denver Broncos in the past always made me mad because I was always predicting this team to be like a sleeper team and they'd make me look dumb, but I think this year is different. They got Russell Wilson and they have a pretty good roster in general. Should be a good year. All right, second place, the Kansas City Chiefs. I think they will actually be a little bit affected by losing Tyreek Hill, but of course they're still gonna be one of the best teams in the IFC, so we'll see. All right, I do have the Los Angeles Chargers winning the division. I think a lot of people think this is going to be a surprise team. And honestly, at first, I thought they were overrated. But I looked at this roster and the potential that they have. I think they could do it, actually. Okay, so the Commanders are probably going to win a lot more than four games. But I just don't really think Ron Rivera, we like rooting for him. But I don't know if he's the head coach. And Carson Wentz just is Carson Wentz. The Giants' future looks good, but this year is just going to be a getting their feet wet kind of deal for Brian Dable and company, and eh, this team just has a long way to go. Okay, the Super Bowl hype is ridiculous in my opinion, but the Eagles are a good team. I think they improved over the offseason, 
AJ Brown is of course huge, but Jalen Hurts does have to step up. My gut is telling me that this team is going to disappoint, but for now I won't listen to it and say that the Cowboys are with an easy schedule and of course a lot of talent on that roster, they should be fine. I do think the New York Giants are in a better direction than they ever were in recent years past, but I don't think anyone's actually saying there's like a solid playoff team either. I think Washington will be in the thick of things, um, but we, uh, you know, kind of saw how uh, Carson Wentz can ruin things at times, no offense, and uh, I think it could happen here again. All right, so first and second in the NFC East is actually a tie, but the Philadelphia Eagles come in at second. Now, personally, in my gut, I feel like they're going to win just because NFC East never has a repeating winner, but we'll see. And number one is the Dallas Cowboys. I feel like this team, like, I always feel like they're going to go on, like, a, a downgrade this year, but their schedule is just way too easy, and realistically, they're the best team. Maybe history changes and they actually repeat this time. The Chicago Bears... <sighs> Sorry, they're just a boring team. Uh, I hope Justin Fields has a good year. Okay, now I want to talk about boring teams, but I'll be real with you. I'm actually more excited for the Detroit Lions. I don't think they make the playoffs, but I do buy into Dan Campbell and his uh, energy. And I think they actually have an okay roster, but still ways to go. Uh, surprise. I apparently think the Vikings are a playoff team. I disagreed when I first saw it, but... They actually have a little bit of momentum going for them, and, you know, they have a new head coach that hopefully should help improve this offense. It's Aaron Rodgers and the Packers. Like, do I need to say more? They'll win the division. Don't think a lot of people are necessarily arguing about the Chicago Bears being a bad team this year. Just got a lot of things to figure out. But they should at least see if there's any potential in Justin Fields. Everyone is rooting for Dan Campbell and the Detroit Lions, but I still think realistically they got a long way to go, but the NFC is a little bit easier than the AFC, so they could sneak in. I think the Minnesota Vikings are an interesting team. They're probably not going to make playoffs, but, you know, I, I think they're going on an interesting path away from Mike Zimmer like they should have, and, uh, It'll be just a fun year of finding out who they are. All right, Green Bay Packers, they're going to have the same season they always do. It's just about, can they not choke in the playoffs? Like, they have Aaron Rodgers. I guess they don't have Adams anymore, but can they just not choke? That's the goal. Maybe sort of a hot take, but... Honestly, I think that Matt Rule's probably going to get fired mid-season, and they, I just don't think this team has anything to fight for. And I root for Baker, but realistically, I don't think he's going to be this vast upgrade for the team. Okay, as an honest Falcons fan, I'll admit this team shouldn't realistically have, like, around seven wins, but I do like Arthur Smith, and I think he's going to make them overachieve a little bit, but there's still a long, long way to go. They'll be competitive, and, you know, I think Dennis Allen should be an okay head coach. Jameis Winston is coming back. They fall short, but, you know, they could still make playoffs. Just watch out for them, and I still hate them, but watch out for them. Okay, so 15 wins is maybe a little too high, but it also might not be because, I mean, it's Tom Brady in the box, so I don't know. We'll see. All right, sorry, Falcon fans, I got you in last place again. Um, but, you know, it's uh, not going to be terrible, I don't think. Maybe it will. Um, but uh, that's honestly all I got. I just don't think the Falcons are going to be that good. So the Carolina Panthers trading for Baker Mayfield definitely makes things a lot more interesting. Um, but I do still think that Baker has a little bit of improvement to show and overall, the Panthers' direction has just been really questionable the last few years, so we'll see. 
I have the New Orleans Saints as a bounce back team here, and they do actually make playoffs. Um, Jameis was pretty good the last time he was here. I know they don't have Sean Payton, but they still have a staff that has been working with them for a long time, and they're usually just well coached in general, so they should bounce back. And then number one, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I mean, same story as last year. They're just trying to repeat, and it seems like this is probably going to be Brady's last year, so let's see if they ended on a high note. Probably a bit of a surprise. I got the Seahawks as the worst team in the whole entire NFC. And I don't think it's that controversial. I know they got Pete Carroll, but the quarterback situation and the, the direction that Pete wants to go in, I just don't think it's very good. I love this team deep down and I want them to win a Super Bowl, but... Gotta be realistic, man. Cliff is just not the answer at head coach. I think this thing is gonna not be terrible, but just not a playoff team. They'll be, you know, fine, solid, 11 wins for Kyle Shanahan and the Niners. They're the defending Super Bowl champions. They should be fine. Eek. I don't know if Pete Carroll actually knows what he's really doing anymore. I think time has definitely passed him. Should be a pretty rough year for Seattle. Gosh, man. Speaking of teams that don't know what they're doing, the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, I don't know. Like, does anyone genuinely believe in Cliff Kingsbury? I think they're going to miss playoffs and this will be Cliff's last year. All right, the record actually seems a little bit too high for the Niners yet again. But to be honest, it didn't seem that bad last year because they at least made the NFC Championship and almost won. Maybe they kind of do something again this year. I mean, they won the Super Bowl last year and they're retaining mostly everybody. So should be a pretty good year again. So, the first playoff game is the Denver Broncos versus the Indianapolis Colts. Russell Wilson versus Matt Ryan. And an all-around talented Broncos team versus a talented Colts team. This will be an entertaining one, and I think it will be close. But ultimately, I think Russell Wilson and the Broncos, that Russell Wilson trade is just so remarkable. I don't know how they did that, and they advanced. But good season, Matt Ryan. Okay, so this one was kind of hard for me to say. I kept saying that the Bills were a little overhyped and that the Chargers were kind of a sleeper Super Bowl team. But here I am actually saying that the Bills win and they actually advance. But man, I, I, I really do love this Chargers team though. I would not be surprised if they made the Super Bowl, but the Bills usually do go at least a little far in the playoffs. A playoff rematch, the Raiders and the Bengals. And the result, I think, will be the exact same. Uh, the Raiders, uh, you know, they're they're good. But Joe Burrow, I, I think, just has every, you know, uh, I guess, right to uh, win this game. And the Raiders, I think, actually have a little more work to do instead of just getting Devontae Adams. So, Bengals advance. Okay, this one was a tough one to predict. The Buffalo Bills versus the Cincinnati Bengals really could go either way. And if you told me Josh Allen's going to go to the AFC Championship game, honestly, go for it. I would not think that's some sort of hot take. But um, I'm actually going to take Joe Burrow to go to the AFC Championship game. I think he just has that, I know I keep saying this, but winner mentality. And I don't know, I think this team might go far. Okay, I'm going to say it again. We all love a divisional playoff game. And this one is the Broncos and the Chiefs. Um, honestly, I kept going back and forth with this one. I wanted to say the Broncos could win. And then I wanted to say that the Chiefs would win. And um, I don't know. But the Chiefs do usually host AFC Championship games. So I guess I'll give it to the Chiefs. But... Could be the Broncos either way. I, it, it could go either way. So, I actually have an AFC Championship rematch by surprise. I actually wasn't expecting that, but here I am with the Chiefs 
yet again hosting the AFC Championship game and the Bengals and Joe Burrow trying to get revenge, but let's be real, man, Super Bowl runner-ups, they never really advanced to the Super Bowl, and Patrick Mahomes, I think, does have enough, you know, of that benefit of the doubt to at least try and make another one, so I think they advance here. So the first game is going to be the Kansas City Chiefs at the Indianapolis Colts. Ooh, sounds like a good game already, doesn't it? All these AFC games are just going to be really freaking good, but uh, um, I'm going to give it to the Chiefs. I think they have a little more experience, and uh, I don't know. I, I just think Chiefs are going to win. <laughs> Again, it could potentially be a big year for the Broncos, but playing at Buffalo, admittedly, is going to be really tough. I think Bills are probably going to win, unfortunately, uh, but man, that'll be a fun game to watch. Everyone remembers how freaking fun this game was to watch in the Week 18 game last year, the Raiders and Chargers. So how cool is it to see this matchup again in the freaking playoffs? It'll be a fun game. Um, I don't actually think the Raiders are ready. I think they can make playoffs, but this Chargers team is going to be really good. And uh, I think they get their revenge. Okay, here we go. Divisional round, Bills at the Chargers. Now they're playing another AFC West team, and it's a pretty good one. Um, Bills are going to really want revenge. They'll be hungry. But ha <laughs> ha, I have you losing again. I think the Chargers are going to win this game. Now, don't worry, because I laughed, you're going to win the Super Bowl, and then it's all going to come back to me. But at the moment, <laughs> I think that they're uh, going to lose. Okay, here we go. Chiefs at Ravens. This, like, this always seems to be a hyped-up rivalry, but Patrick Mahomes has definitely had the best of them. Although, Lamar Jackson and company did finally beat them last year, and they have the one seed, actually, in my playoffs, so maybe they do it again. Personally, I want the Ravens to win this game. I just want to see Lamar Jackson and this whole Ravens thing work, but I will give it to the Chiefs. They just have this team's number. Well, seeing how good the AFC West is, of course we would have a rivalry game for the championship game. So we have the Chiefs at the Chargers. Goodness freaking gracious, man. It'll be a great game. Um, and I just, I didn't realize I was as high on the Chargers as I was. I actually have them winning this game and making the Super Bowl. It'll be a big year. Maybe Justin Herbert will kind of prove to them by winning a ring. Hey man, I am your guy because I won my first ring and your guys' first ring. I'll take the Chargers. Here's another playoff rematch, the Niners and the Cowboys. And guess what? The exact same thing. I think the Niners are going to advance. Kyle Shanahan, this Niners squad, maybe Trey and Lance kind of surprises this year. Cowboys got to get over that playoff hump, man. They really do. All right, so the Los Angeles Rams versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The reigning Super Bowl champs versus the, for some reason, everyone calls Super Bowl team Philadelphia Eagles I you have to actually convince me that Jalen Hurts can make this team a Super Bowl team uh so as you can already tell I got the Rams winning it literally makes no sense I I, I have no idea why you guys call them a Super Bowl team maybe they proved me wrong but nope uh, I got Rams advancing a divisional playoff game we always love those and we know there's going to be bad blood and both teams are going to want to fight to win and Anytime the Packers and Vikings play, it usually is a good game, even in the regular season. Uh, but Vikes usually never go too far, and eh, let's be real, Aaron Rodgers kind of has this whole playoff thing down until he gets to the NFC Championship. But will they get farther? Let's see. Packers and Rams should be a good game. Uh, and, you know, I don't know if it'll be a high-scoring game for some reason. I just kind of feel it'll be a little low-scoring. Uh, but, uh, um, you know, it, it's been like a fun run for Aaron Rodgers yet again, uh, but we kind of know how this ends. <sighs> Tom Brady versus Kyle Shanahan. We've heard that one before. <laughs> um, so this will be a really entertaining one. 
and uh, it could go either way. Kyle Shanahan definitely wants it when it comes to the playoffs, and he, he plays very mean and aggressive, but so does Tom Brady, uh, and Tom Brady's probably going to beat anyone that apparently tries to get in his way. Here's another playoff rematch. Rams and Buccaneers, and Tom Brady almost won that freaking game last year, but man, Matt Stafford got hot at the last second, and this will be bad blood. This will be so freaking entertaining to watch, um, but ultimately, I do think Tom Brady comes out on top and advances to the Super Bowl. All right, rematch, 49ers at the Cowboys. And I think it's gonna be 49ers again. I just, just like, sorry, Cowboy fans, but uh, kinda can't really seem to get past that playoff home. Guess I can't really be talking as a Dolphins fan, but I'm just kinda saying, like, maybe let's tone down the trash talk a little bit and then people will feel a little more bad. Um, no, but seriously, like, I think 49ers will win this game. All right, Saints and Packers. Saints are probably better than I'm imagining they're going to be in this game, but I mean, and I know Packers will also usually always choke in the playoffs, but um, I don't think it'll be the case here, right? I think Packers will be a little more ready this time. I apparently have a lot of rematches, so we have the Eagles at the Bucks. Literally, I don't know who was excited for this game. Why is there Super Bowl hype over the Eagles? I know I have them in the playoffs, but it's just because their schedule's like really easy. I, I don't get it. I, I think this should be another easy win for the Bucks. I just had to rant there for a second. Packers at Bucks, probably the final Aaron Rodgers versus Tom Brady matchup. And Packer fans, they gotta be seeing this going like, oh god, that means we're obviously gonna lose, aren't we? Because not only is it like us against Tom Brady, but it just seems like another playoff choke. And yeah, I do think it is. <laughs> I have a the Packers yet again losing. Uh, I guess now they've downgraded from always losing the championship game to the divisional round, but at least they made it. Kyle Shanahan will want so much revenge when playing the Rams because, man, in those post-game interviews, he seemed really mad. Um, this, I mean, this just could go either way, man. I, I can totally see a world where the Rams beat the Niners, and I can totally see a world where the Niners beat the Rams. Um, I'm actually gonna give it to the Rams though like maybe they finally figured this team out but the Niners do also kind of have this team numbers so I won't be surprised I'll still pick LA all right the last two Super Bowl winners playing in the NFC Championship it doesn't get any cooler than that so this one's gonna be in LA and the Rams did beat the Bucks last time in a thriller so it should be yet another thriller um, but I'm gonna give it to the Bucks. Usually Super Bowl winners don't really repeat. Um, but I, I also just think Tom Brady's gonna be out for revenge and uh we all know how that story goes. Yeah, I know, yawn. My Super Bowl prediction is probably like really like Patrick Mahomes versus Tom Brady again. I know, yeah, it's, it's boring and yeah, I know, the NFL is scripted. Tom Brady's going to win in his 45th year like he wanted to. He's going to retire a champion. And <sighs> I wish Tom Brady just didn't have to win everything that was scripted. But the script loves him. Now, an all-LA Super Bowl would have been cool. <laughs> But of course we don't have it because it's Tom Brady, it's his last year. We have the Chargers and the Buccaneers. That will be an awesome Super Bowl matchup here in Arizona, I'm pretty sure it's at. Uh, it will be a very hard fought game. Will Tom Brady win as like an epic walk off or will Justin Herbert win his first ring and kind of give Chargers fans a little bit of hope for the first time in their lives? The answer is no, they're still gonna have to wait because shocker, who else would win on their last year? But those are our thoughts. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like our content and you want to see more, please be sure to check in the description down below. We have a lot of other content that we'd really like for you to check out and see. And I think they're worthy of your time. But we all hope you enjoyed and let's watch some football.